Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Pretty Brown Vegan, the place for plant-based comfort foods. If you guys are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads. Today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I made these creamy vegan stuffed shells using a vegan chicken substitute. If you guys are interested, go ahead and stay tuned. And if you enjoy this content, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with this Sweet Earth Mindful Chicken. We are just gonna go ahead and saute this or cook it up in some oil here until it's nice and heated through. We are also going to season these up. So um, if it's not frozen, I recommend season the, seasoning them before you go ahead and put it in the pot and go ahead and just cook them till they're heated through. But if you do get yours frozen, then just go ahead, get them thawed out in the pot um, in some oil toss them up until they're slightly heated and go ahead and season them. I'm gonna go ahead and season with all the seasonings on screen as well as a little bit of sea salt as well. And I think I also added in some smoked paprika, but I didn't get the footage of that. So we're just gonna go ahead and toss them in the oil, get them seasoned and cooked through. They're already pre-cooked. So with this meat, I just cook it through until it's nice and heated um, because you don't wanna overcook this. It can get a little tough. I've learned from my experience with this brand, but I really enjoy this brand, it's really good. So once you have that nice and cooked through, we're just gonna remove that from the heat and set it to the side. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add in a little more oil in here before adding in some onions. And we're just gonna go ahead and saute these onions up until they are fragrant and slightly translucent before we add in any additional ingredients. Once we get those sauteed up, I am gonna go ahead and add in some garlic paste. And then I also add in some Italian herb paste as well. And then we're just gonna go ahead and toss that all together. Then I come in here with some sun-dried tomatoes. Um, try to just get the tomatoes in here with just a little bit of oil. If you add in too much of the oil, the final product can be a little bit oily. So just go ahead and toss in some of these. And then I add in some tomato paste as well. This tomato paste is already pre-seasoned as well. I believe it's like a basil flavor. And then we're just gonna go ahead and toss that together until everything is nice and well combined. All right, so once we have all of that together, I am using unsweetened coconut milk, full fat. Um, you can use light if you prefer, but I just like the texture of the full fat coconut milk. I think it's a little bit thicker and it's more reminiscent of heavy cream to me. So just go ahead and mix all of that together until it's nice and smooth. Once that's bubbling a bit, I do come in here with a couple handfuls of spinach. Then I just toss that together until the spinach starts wilting down. I also add in a little bit of freshly chopped parsley as well. Once that comes together, I come in here with a couple handfuls of plant-based cheese. I found this Parmesan style cheese at Whole Foods. And we're just gonna go ahead and mix that together until the cheese starts melting down a bit. Um, if your cheese isn't melting, it does take a little bit of elbow grease for vegan cheese to melt down. Um, you can come in here with a whisk as well, just to help it get melted down as well. Just go ahead and mix that together until it thickens up.
Once that thickens up, we come back in here with that chicken that we had prepared earlier and just go ahead and toss that in. And once that's all well combined, then we are gonna go ahead and start stuffing our shells. I am using um, some shells that I just picked up from my local grocer. Um, I put a little bit of that sauce in the base of these cute dishes that I picked up. Um, I believe these are like Pioneer Woman brand. But anyway, I just go ahead and put a little bit of the sauce down on the bottom of these dishes. Just make sure they're oven safe because we are gonna go ahead and put these into a preheated oven at 350. And then I just come in with the shells and I start stuffing them. Once you've got all your shelf stuff, I do come in with a little bit of extra of that cheese and just sprinkle it right on top before I put these in the oven. Just go ahead and put these in the oven until the cheese melts down a bit. And then also keep a bit of your sauce, um, keep, keep a bit of your sauce reserved and heated on the stove because we're gonna come through and put a little bit of extra sauce on top as well. I just think it gives it a nice creamy finish. Um, and then that's pretty much it. I'm gonna toss it, um, top it here with some fresh parsley and they are ready to go. These are super bomb, so good and satisfying, very filling as well. If you guys enjoy this content, please go ahead again and give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys are looking to try this recipe, what you think and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you so much for watching.